So this is by the brand We Are Paradox and it is a repair three in one. It's a conditioner, hair mask and finishing cream. and welcome uh, I hope you are all doing very well today today's video is a hair video so the product that we're going to be testing out is this so this is by the brand we are paradox and it is a repair three in one it's a conditioner hair mask and finishing cream i love a product that's a multitasker that is great so i received this in my february glossy box and um, i will link below in the information box and the comment box um the link for glossy box if you are interested in subscribing it's a really really good box and um, i get it free every month from glossy box and i also pay for a subscription as well so that just shows you how much i really really love it um and yeah i'll pop the link down below and i've got a code as well so normally it's 13 pound 25 per month for your box uh, if you use my code and it's your first box you'll get your first box for a tenner so gotta love a good saving uh, but back to the mask i will also link this down below as well glossy box don't sell this by itself um but look fantastic do so yeah i will link that down below as well if you like the results from me using this i am super excited this is a 50 mil one so this is a deluxe mini uh for a deluxe mini it's it's kind of a good size right so i've just got my phone there just for a little bit of information about this product um and it just says this 99 percent natural mind-blowing multitasker acts as a conditioner a leave-in treatment and a finishing balm it will be soft repaired glossy and frizz free Irish Corrigene, I hope I'm saying that correctly, moss helps condition and fortify the hair fibres. So looking at the ingredients of this mask, um, the second and third ingredient is alcohol, um, but I, I think I'm not very good when it comes to ingredients, unfortunately. I think they are good alcohols to have in a product. The not so good alcohol is the isopurpyl alcohol. Uh, that is very, very far down in the list, thank goodness. So it just says, after shampooing, work through wet hair and rinse. Um, so that's if you're using it as a conditioner. Uh, you can also apply to towel dry hair as a leave-in conditioner or on dry hair as a styling balm for best results use with the repair shampoo. I haven't got the repair shampoo, unfortunately. Um, but that, okay, so that is a leave-in treatment, but it says on here you can use it as a mask. So it says three in one, but really, is that mean it's four in one? <laughs> um, on here, it says, it says, it says, it says, as a mask, apply to damp or dry hair and leave on overnight. That is what we're going to do because this wig of mine <laughs> needs a bit of help. It is dying. It's dead. It's, it's yeah, it's dead. I don't want to bury it. So let's revive it. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to quickly run a brush through this. Not that that helped any. So just to show you the consistency of it there, that is what it is. Feels very buttery. Uh, feels really nice actually. And it smells really gorgeous. But yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna section my hair and we'll start applying it. So I'm just gonna pop it on my dry hair. Where's my clip? Right, so first section is down, let's apply it to my hair. And um, afterwards, when my whole hair is corded, I will then put some um, saran wrap, cling film, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna pop it on my head before I go to sleep. So that's it all distributed through my hair. Um, I feel like I could have put way, way more in. Um, as you can see, you can see obviously there's something in my hair, but it's not overly saturated. Um, but from the feel of the product, I don't know. I don't think I have to. Um, and anyway, there is, my hair is everywhere. <laughs> there is a little bit left in the tube. What I'll do uh, in the morning when I wash this out of my hair, I'll just use like a random shampoo. Uh, and when it comes to conditioning my hair, I'll use that last little bit as the conditioner. Might as well use all of it. I nearly have in any way. Um, 
So, yes, let me... Should I put this cellophane on my head? I don't think I am. I don't think I have to because my hair is not dripping or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to put my hair in a plait and then, yeah, leave it like that. I'll make sure I put a towel on my pillow. Um, I'll see what I feel like when I go and lie down. I might end up putting the saran wrap on. I don't know. Right, I am back. I am up and I've woke up with a headache. Oh my God. <laughs> Right, so let's take my hair out of this. Right, so that is my hair out of its plait. So it's weird. <laughs> so where the mask's been on top of my head, it's dried. So you can feel like there's some kind of layer on top, but it's like hard and crusty. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. And then the bit that's been in the plait, it's still damp from the mask. Um, which is fine, as long as it washes out okay. So when I put the mask in, um, I put it, I didn't put it directly on my scalp, although I mostly do do that when I do hair masks. Um, I left it about half a centimetre <laughs> off because uh, I wanted to treat nearly all of my hair basically the same. Um, but yeah, let's go and wash this out. I'll be back in a minute, I'll have my face on. That curtain is getting closed because there's a glare and it's, yeah. It's not helping with my headache. <laughs> right, I am back, face is on, feeling a little bit more human. Headache tablets have kicked in, thank God. Right, let's take this off, put some heat protectant spray on and style my hair and see what it was like. One thing I must say, um, when I went in the shower and the water hit my head, as soon as the water touched my hair, my hair went so soft, so, so soft. The crustiness of where the mask had dried, it basically like it, it, it melted off like butter when the water touched it, which was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, that's looking good. Right, heat protectant I am using is this. It's the Schwarzkopf Keratin Heat Spray. So let's just put this all the way through my hair. So let's get on with it. I am using this. It's my Revlon, I can't remember what you call it. One Styler, One Step Thingy Me Jiggy. I've done a review video on this. I will link that just there if you want to go and watch that. Um, but yeah, I'll speed this up for you so you're not sitting there for ages watching me dry my hair. Not that it takes long with this. Fingers crossed the results are good. so done I have mixed feelings really really mixed feelings um I've got no volume whatsoever and I use my one step styler and normally that gives me volume but with this mask in my hair it hasn't I feel like I've got some kind of residue on my hair as well which is mm, not very nice especially up here and I mean I must admit um I do put masks further up my hair, but I didn't put it on my scalp and I must have put it on to about here, um, but I can feel it, I can feel it and I hardly put any on, it was like trace amounts. I concentrated the main of the mask on the lens of my hair and the ends. Um, and don't get me wrong, the ends don't feel dry at all, so that's really, really nice, but maybe because they also feel of that residue. Um, it was really hard trying to style my hair as well. Um, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of shape, but not as much as I normally get when I style it. I don't know what to think, but this is what it looks like. I mean, that shine, that shine is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, it's done a really nice job, but I have no volume whatsoever. I can grab my hair and it feels really thin, really, really thin. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, it just looks a bit greasy. I mean, it doesn't feel greasy. You can tell it's there's something on there, but it it doesn't feel greasy. Mm, I think my hair's not going to last very long until it needs its next wash, which is bad because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, not my favourite hair mask um, and I wouldn't go out and buy it. One thing I will say, I do have another We Are Paradox hair mask. Let me just get that a moment. I do have this one. It is a different mask. This one is Repair Game Changer hair mask. Um, so 
I'm hoping this one's gonna be better than this one because I don't think I would use this one again. Um, my hair just feels really limp and lifeless. Has got a lovely shine, which is great, but it just doesn't feel nice. Um, and it just, it's flat as a pancake. Uh, so, not my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, hopefully when I try this one, I don't know when I'm going to try it, but hopefully when I try this one, it will be better than this one. But yeah, have you tried this hair mask before? What have been your results? Were they similar to mine? Um, oh, I'm swallowing my hair. Were they better than mine? Um, but yeah, do you know any hair masks that you'd like me to try? Comment down below um, and if they're in my price range, I will certainly buy them and try them out on my hair. Uh, but yeah, that concludes this video. So if you have not already hit that subscribe button, smash, I don't know what I was doing there, smash that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.